Um, you know, we, we knew from film study and, and critical situations, two-minute situations, that they were going to blitz us. Um, and that's what they do. Uh, that's their MO. We just got to be able to get the ball out and get it in somebody's hands and, and make a play because that's, you know, they're, they're given one-on-one -on -one matchups all across the board. Um, it comes down to executing. Uh, and then, you know, the one that I'm going to replay in my head for, for a long time um, is that out route to Jarvis left inside. Um, that one hurts because that would have put us into very comfortably in field goal range. You know, obviously we would like to win. Uh, you know, we'd like to have won the game, and there's no question about that. But it's about finding the, the positives. You know, seeing, you know, like you said, positive, you know, playoff atmosphere. You know, learning from that on how to handle it or take care of the ball early on, not let them jump out in front. Uh, you just got to put yourself in position late in the game like that to, to be able to win. Yeah, no, obviously the resiliency of our team, um, great. You know, obviously things in the first half weren't going very well, uh, but for us to fight back and, and make it a ball game, it shows a lot about who we are. Um, obviously very disappointing for us to, to not come out with a win, but that's a, that's a great team. It's a playoff team, and we want to be in their spot this time next year. We want to be in the playoffs, and so it's it's going to be a you know a tough loss. It's going to be one that hurts, especially knowing that um, uh, that was a, a game that got them in the playoffs. Um, it's pretty special, um, considering the, you know the rookies that have come in and, and, and played. Um, got a lot of guys around me that help me do it, though. Uh, so that's that's one of those things that you get recognized individually, but you know, there's so much more to that. Um, and how our guys stuck together throughout the season, you know, didn't let it tear us apart when the changes were made, when you know stuff hit the fan, and just for us to come together and be able to have success uh, shows a lot about the guys in that locker room and. Uh, how they believe in each other. For a long time, yeah. yeah obviously, great player. Uh, he showed that tonight. Made a lot of plays. You know, they're they're doing some really good things, scheming up. You know, the run game. Uh, they run the ball really well. And then when he's throwing it, he's making plays. Uh, even when he's getting flushed and hitting the second, third reads. Uh, you know, they're, he's making a lot of plays right now. And that's a good team <clears throat> that we just lost to. So. Yeah, I expect Lamar to be there for a long time. Baker, how long were you sitting on that pump fake touchdown pass? Did you know when you brought the ball back in that you had it? Um, so start the second half. Yeah, uh, I knew pretty much right away. Baker, um, business now is to find a coach. Do you have any uh, uh, concerns or interest? I, I don't say interest, but you, you pretended not to have any interest in stuff like that. But now that. <clears throat> you know, the changes that were made uh, management-wise and th everything that they've done, um, I think, speaks for itself. Uh, I trust Dorsey and his group to, to make that right decision. And they know me well enough. They know, you know, how I feel about, you know, putting myself in the best position to win uh, and, more importantly, putting our team in the best position to win. And so they're going to make the right call. That's uh, it's not my decision to make, and that's why uh, I'm not going to get involved, you know, I, they know how I feel offensively, how we played the second half of the season. Uh, and, you know, uh, I love those guys in that room, and it's, that's why we've had success. Can you lament the fact that, um, that the Peppers fumble recovery for a touchdown? Obviously, that's, that's an easy way to blame the game, you know, saying that if we would have scored on defense, that we would have won the game. But th there's so many things within the ball game that if we take care of business, uh, we would have been in a position to win. So, yeah, it's an easy one to point fingers at. But, um, we got the ball right after that, and defense did a good job of getting us the ball. So uh, we need to take advantage of it. What does the way you, today's game and the way you guys finished in the second half say about 2008? We got a good group, special group that believe in it. Uh, guys making clutch plays down the stretch. Uh, I mean, a catch by Brashad on the sideline, that catch by Jarvis. I mean, just some unbelievable things that uh, you don't see very often. And for People that you know on the outside looking in said we didn't have a good group of receivers. Um, they had a lot to prove, and so they're going to carry that on their shoulders. Uh, and uh, going into 2019 with great momentum and a lot of confidence and trust. Baker, uh, so congratulations to the end of the season. Uh, 
No, I'm not not shocked by it. Everybody sees it a different way, but um, I think people that know the game of football know that winning is the most important thing, and whoever gives you the best opportunity to win, that comes in all shapes and sizes. It comes from all different types of leadership. It comes from guys that uh, love the game and know how to get the best out of their players. So, yeah, I, I don't believe in that. Um, I know Lamar's a winner, and I also know Kyler's a winner too. When this guy, uh, what you guys have done speaks for itself, it sounds like you're saying that you keep saying things like that. No, stop trying to get me to say something, Tony. No, just on offense, we had, you know what, within our room for us to stick together when things, uh, you know, obviously have separated and you can easily blame people and point fingers and, and let the tear up the room. I'm proud of the way our group stuck together. There, there's character in that room. There's guys that uh, showed what a grown man is, you know, coming to work every day with, you know, they had every excuse not to, to throw in the towel and not believe in it, to just give up on the season. Uh, but, but they believed in each other. And so that's why I say it speaks for itself. The guys in that room, the way they handled it, uh, offensive line coming together, running backs making plays, receivers making plays, tight ends as well. Uh, that just shows them the trust and the love they have for each other. Do you feel good about your rookie season and this, the case you made for rookie of the year? I'm not worried about that. But, you know, there, there's a lot of room for improvement. And that's the, that's the thing going forward is, for me, there's a lot of room for improvement. And that's, that's promising for our team going forward. You know, if we were satisfied, if we thought we had it figured out, that we'd be sadly mistaken. Um, so. Yeah, a lot of room for improvement, but we, we had a decent year. It's nothing to be completely disappointed about, but it's something to use as motivation. You wanted to come in here and, and prove, prove you guys are. <clears throat> what do you think you did pretty today? Um, second half, how resilient we were. You know, fighting back. Um, obviously, this, this game, well, the only thing it meant for us is trying to have a winning record. But for our guys to continue to fight for each other, continue to you know, try and win, it just shows what their mentality is like, where the culture is at right now, uh, just to put it all there on the line and, and go for it. A lot of hard fight in that room. And a uh, good young team. Fought through a lot of different challenges. You know, in the first half, I don't think we tackled well enough on defense. Give them credit, though. You know, and again, until you're on the field and you see how quick Lamar Jackson is and uh, you understand his ability to make plays in space and, and, and juke and make some people miss out there in space because we had the, the space populated at times. We just didn't make the play in that space that uh, we did. But they fought. Uh, I thought we did a really good job at halftime making some adjustments that we had to make. And then um, you, know, you saw offensively how far, how fast we uh, got back, made some chunk plays. Nice little gimmick play there to start the uh, second half that we've been repping for quite a while, where Baker threw a pass to himself, and then he uh, threw a shot down the field for a touchdown. We're right back in it. Wish it would have gone different at the end of the half on the defensive touchdown, but that just is what it is. You know, we made a really good, nice play down there in the, uh, on the goal line, and uh, Pep scooped it up, and it was going the other direction, but they blew it dead. Uh, at least we got the ball back on the challenge on that. This team is a no give up team. And I think you saw all the energy and all the drive and all the continued uh, enjoying and, and supporting each other. You know, respect and trust are earned. And there are a few young guys in there today that really did, from a few of the older guys, earn some respect and earn some trust by their effort and their toughness and to continue to pound it all in there. So close game. and. Uh, Give Baltimore some credit, and I think I've told you before at the start of this week, you know, I think John and his staff have just done a phenomenal job on what they've done, on how they've turned around the season in their respect, you know, with the last opportunity with him. Was there a cutoff you feel? No. Was no. this in the range here? No. It wasn't in the range, and I, I put it on, I put it on uh, Baker. We just got to make that play. They, ma they made a nice play.
it's great it's great for these young guys to feel that too yes you're, terry and uh you know they've played in some of them some very big programs you know some very big things at the other level but not at this level and that is another step that is another step for them to take to appreciate what it means to you know to play in front of a big home crowd the way the ravens are and you know that's the way we were finishing up down there with Cleveland, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that there'll be games like this in Cleveland. You know, if, with this good young team, eventually that's what will happen. What does it mean to you just as a coach to take this thing over this season and see what this You know, and I, what I've tried to do, what I've tried to do is, is make sure that it's, it's not about me, it's about them, you know, and I think I've answered those questions all year long. But I would be, you know, I wouldn't be uh, being honest if I, if I would not say that, you know, I'm proud, you know, how, of how they respond. I'm proud of them focusing and doing what I've asked them to do. And I, I, I am. It, it means something to me, too, yes. You going into this week thinking you'll be back? You know, I'm going into this week uh, taking the next step. You know, and this is uh, 30 years. So I, I've been through a lot of these kind of steps. So, and, uh, and again, what I've also said to you all before is, is don't ever, ever worry about me being afraid to compete. Okay, so competing, it is what it is. So we'll take the next step and see. Uh, well, you know, those will be things that, you know, the doors and everything we'll talk about with you guys. What do you think, getting a taste of this, that this team can have on Sunday? No, I really like this young team. And, you know, and I said this before, I, mean, I turned down multiple jobs to come to Cleveland. You know, I, I really wanted the opportunity to come here. I really love living in Cleveland. I love the people of Cleveland. You know, I have tremendous <laughs> memories of coming up to the old Mistake by the Lake Stadium. You know, everybody called that back in the late 80s, early 90s, and playing in those things and the crowd and the environment. Um, and then, you know, again, a lot of people were telling me, you know, when I came here two years ago that you can't help anybody, you know, you can't do that. Well, we can do that. That's what we're hired to do. We're supposed to be able to do this, no matter what people and other people in the NFL are saying or what other people outside the thing are saying. You know, that is my evaluation. My evaluation was there was a good young team, and then uh, hopefully, you know, the ownership, uh, listen to me, you know, at the time when they interviewed me, when you all didn't even know they were interviewing me, and, uh, you know, in a, in a secret place outside of this city or outside of the city of Cleveland, and uh, I made a choice to be there. And uh, we'll see what happens now. If it doesn't work out here, do you think Pardon me? if it doesn't end up with you Maybe on the full time here, do you think you bring another head coach Yeah, out? we'll say, you know, the, the, there's word on the street that possibly, yeah, there's word on that street. You know, I will tell you this, is I'm really proud of these young men, okay? I'm really proud of these young men, and uh, I'd like to leave it at that. I'd like to give them the credit for those things right there, and we came up short. Jacob broke the rookie record today. He Did he? Like that. Sum up what you've seen. It's just, it's just, he just scratched the surface, you know? And if you think that he's satisfied with that, there's no way, no how, okay? He wants to keep on playing. That's who he is. And, uh, but that's good to know, and uh, I'll make sure I uh, say something to him about it, you know, on the plane right home. Okay, because everybody needs a pat on the back, even, even when you're as competitive as that young man. Okay, and he is competitive. Josh, what was the sight of Josh Dobbs talking to you just before that? Mm -hmm. uh, right, he, he he's not on a headset with me, and that, that's basically I already made the decision we were going for it. Was he arguing? No, uh, and you know what? Nobody argues with me. Me, well, you, you you've already learned that. <laughs> yeah, I win all arguments. So. Uh, no big deal. No, he wasn't. He was just making sure. Okay, and, that, and that's what they're supposed to do. And I encourage all those guys. But when you're not on headsets, they don't know all the things that's going on. You know, and we'd, uh, we'd all made those same things. And you know, we, were, we were two or three plays ahead of that. Paul had to move in. We had, we had to get a little bit tighter. Brad, when a change is made like that in this season, a lot of times, like you mentioned, as you said, you would probably get another job. Sure, yeah. For a lot of your assistants who are younger, probably down the food chain. How do you keep them? How were you able to keep them from kind of you know, uh, belief, belief in me, belief in the what, what was going on, and the other thing too is, is that similar to what you guys have, uh, you know, asked me about on, you know, how do you keep these young players motivated? How do you keep them doing it? You know, what if I have to worry too much about that? It's the wrong person. Same thing with the coach. Okay, this is what we do. This is this is what you buy into. This is this is the life of an NFL coach, and you've got to be able to understand that and and do the best you can and. Get on to the next what, game. Get on to the next place. Questions? Anything else? If it didn't work out for what you've done, what, you come back? 
Oh, you know, I, yeah, I, yeah, I do. I do it. I, I love, I love uh, coaching, I, and I want to coach in the NFL for as long as I can. And uh, that is for as long as, and this is a good, good question, I know it's time to move on to something else when I walk into a room and they no longer listen to me. When I walk into a room and there's not a presence felt, and you all understand those things, is you have to have a presence. And when people no longer want to listen to you, you got to move on to something else. And I've uh, never had that uh, problem, <laughs> you know, when uh, I've had the opportunity to mentor and coach some of these young men. And, again, I really, really care a lot about a lot of those guys in that room. And we'll be uh, friends for life, mentor for life, regardless of whatever the situation is. That's just how it is. And there's several guys and there's some coaches on that staff there, too, that had to make sure that, you know, we've crossed paths before that they had to come over and make sure that, you know, they talked to me about some things, too, because... You never know what the next situation is going to be in this league. That's how we've learned to cope and be in it so long. And, again, I appreciate all you guys, okay? I appreciate uh, uh, what you do to help the city of Cleveland. I appreciate what you do to keep people interested in what we do. It's, uh, it's a great game. It's a production business, but it's a great game. And uh, I appreciate what you do. Greg, what can you convey in an interview that you haven't already shown that you may share? That shows me you're smarter than everybody thinks you are. Yeah, that's a semi-compliment. No, but uh, you're right. <laughs>